Well, good day, everybody. Steve from Mud Ducks Four Wheel Drive Touring. Hope you're all well. Uh, this is the last part of our Bathurst Hill End uh, journey that we went on on the Easter long weekend. This one's a little bit shorter. Uh, as you know, I was travelling with other people. I can only film what I could film. So uh, we've got in uh, the bridle track uh, on the way back up from uh, where we camped and then uh, had a look around some of the gold fields uh, around Hill End. Uh, just generally uh, the Turon River and basically finished it up. So I thought I'd give you a quick look. Uh, well, probably not as exciting as the previous episodes, guys. Sorry about that, but uh, it's still a pretty area and uh, I hope you enjoy it. Uh, cheers. Talk to you soon. out of Hill End, or well, still or virtually in Hill End, we have the Golden Gully, apparently it's a track to the Golden Arch. It's Easter Sunday, so we'll go for a look. Now, being a dickhead, I forgot to charge up my gimbal, so we have to put up a slightly shakier video on the phone. My GoPro went flat on the way up the hill, so it's being charged as we speak. So we're down to the phones. Anyway, there's mine shafts, there's all sorts of things down here. So we'll see what we see. 15 minute round trip apparently. So not very far down here to the Golden Arch. And no, it's not Maccas. So we'll see what there is to see. We're on a trail towards the Golden Arches. And some uh, naturally occurring steps along the way. Into this section here. And the track here. It's all about gold mining and mine shafts along here. We've got a bit of a tunnel erosion happening over here. Steve coming down the natural occurring steps. <laughs> Towards the golden arches. The golden arch. Mackers, yeah beauty. This is an arch. Is it golden? I don't know. It's certainly an arch. <laughs> Not sure the origins of this, whether it's an old rail line. A lot of mining in this area, so it's possible. It's kind of cool. It does look a bit gold in the light this time of the morning. Uh, we're going for a wander. Some very intrepid crew in front of me. Doesn't look like we can go too far down here, so we'll see what there is to see. Uh, not sure what the origins of this is. Uh, this, is this is where the Chinese used to flush out the alluvial gold, and there's all those at the buff. Mm. You see this one here, yep. that hole? Above there, there will be a smaller hole and they used to put the water down through there which will flush it out here which brings the, I think it's the alluvial gold or the fine gold down the bottom and then they would pan for it. Uh -huh. And there's all throughout this region are all these honeycomb um, canyons, if you like, based on all the, the Chinese gold mining. Oh, interesting. Back from there, there was a little water. Genesis is a wealth of information. See, all that looks knowledge as well. What more could you need? This looks cool. The cave thing here.
another one of these tracks here that Janice explained how it was sort of done. Need to go on for a fair way, I'm not going to go too far up. But, uh, interesting how it was done. Very cool rock formations. Bit of the sun there, sorry about that guys. A little section of formations here where they've been digging. Gonna have a quick look at this. seems to go on and on. So that cave I just walked into a second ago. Go this way. So this one go. That way came out the, the other side. This one obviously gets smaller. The shaft down that way. Can't light that up. I don't know where that goes, but it's pretty cool. Walking back out. So yeah, all the uh, excavation by the Chinese guys. You need to go. All very interesting. About eight and a half k's or something to a place called the Cornish Roasting Pits. I don't know what Cornish Roasting Pits are about, but we're going to find out when we get down here. Well, as you can see, I didn't get a lot of video of the Cornish Roasting Pits, so there's a few stills here for you to have a look at. From what I can gather, they used to heat the quartz up and try to extract the uh, the gold out of it that way, but other than that, I don't know much about it. You probably have to Google it. Anyway, back to the rest of it. doesn't show it as well but it's actually quite a long steep hill this so it's uh, just take your time go down the bottom and at the bottom there's a river crossing so we did we all would have had very hot breaks when we got down there so we had a bit of a rest and stood around for a little while took a couple of pictures before we made the crossing always a good idea to uh, cool your brakes right down before you drop them in the water uh, for obvious reasons. They cool down too quick, you'll warp them, or if the worst can happen, they can shatter. I haven't heard of that happening for a long time, but it can happen. So, uh, a couple of pictures at the end of this hill, hill descent, and then uh, into the river crossing.
two distinct lines on this river crossing. Most of us took the, uh, the left hand slightly deeper line. Wall elected to take the right hand uh, shallower line. He's got the most standard truck, so that's fair enough. So, um, whenever you do these river crossings, it's always worth having a good look. Even if it use, looks like it's been well used, still have a good look at them, check if there's any holes. You'll see a big hole there that Taney just drove through. Uh, that could be uh, quite a shock if you've got a fairly standard low car like a Subaru or something like that. So you always got to pay attention to these river crossings and uh, be careful that way you don't break your car and make it home.
us leave the centre at the end of the dirt. We'll tap on tar the rest of the trip. So it's our up time. We've chosen to park off the road. The others, for reasons only known to them, are on the road. A bit shorter as I said, but uh, uh, it's all I can fit in. So have a good one. Hope you enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe. Click the bell for notifications. It makes a difference, guys. And uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you next week. Cheers.